everybody. Today we're going to talk about converting decimals to fractions. We have two types of fractions we need to talk about. Fractions that have a finite number of decimal places, like 0 0.25, 0 0.138, or 0 0.003, and then numbers that have a finite number of repeating decimals, like 0 0.111 that continues, 0.454545 that continues, or 0 0.782, 782, 782. So we'll break these apart and look at them individually. Let's start with a finite number of decimals. A decimal that has n decimal places can be written as a fraction by dropping the decimal and dividing the number by 10 to the power n. That's really just a 1 followed by n zeros. I know that sounds hard, so let's break that down. Let's start with something that we're probably familiar with, like 0.25. 0.25 has two decimal places, so we're going to divide by 100. We have two numbers, so I have two zeros. I take 0.25 and I make it 25 over 100, which we know we can reduce to 1 over 4. Let's try that again. Now I have 0.438. This time I have three decimal places, so I need to have three zeros in my denominator. We'll write 0.438 is 438 over 1,000. We can reduce that by dividing by 2, we get 219 over 500. Let's say I had some leading zeros. So here I have 0 .00067. You want to count those leading zeros when you do your conversion. So the three zeros, the 6 and the 7, comes out to a total of five decimal places. That means I'll divide by a 1 followed by five zeros, which is 100,000. This gives me 67 over 100,000, which does not reduce. Now let's take a look at a finite number of repeating decimals. So a decimal with n repeating decimal places can be written as a fraction by dropping the decimal, then we divide the number that is repeating by a number formed by n nines. Again, let's talk about what that means. Consider 0.333 where the 3 repeats. We have one repeating number, which is the 3, so we're going to divide by 1, 9. 3 over 9 reduces to 1 over 3, which we know is 0.333. Let's make that a little bigger. What if I had 0.121212 that's repeating? Well, I have two repeating numbers, the 1 and the 2. That means I need two 9s to divide by, so I'm going to divide by 99. When I divide 12 by 99, I can reduce that to 4 over 33. Even bigger, if I have 0.459 that's repeating, well that's three numbers, 4, 5, and 9, so now I put three 9's together, which is 999. 459 divided by 999 reduces to be 51 over 111. And in a minute, we'll go over to Desmos and kind of see how we could do this reduction and have the nice fractions. Let's consider what happens when we have a zero as part of our repeating decimals. So this time I have 0 0.013, 0, 013, 0, 013. I'm counting that zero and the number of repeating digits. So 0, 1, and 3 are all repeating. That means I again divide by 999. I write that as 13 over 999, which does not reduce. So the 13 over 999 is my final conversion. So what happens if the number is a mixture of these two types of numbers, meaning I have one part that doesn't repeat and one part that does? That could look like 0.6222 where the 2 is repeating. I'm going to break that up into the two parts. I have the 0.6 where I have a finite number of decimal places and I have 0 0.0222 where that part's repeating. The 0 0.06, we just take 6 divided by 10, which is 3 over 5. I know I have one repeating number, 2, so I need to divide that by 9. But to get that to move over one decimal place, I need to multiply by 1 over 10. I don't want this to be 0.222. I want it to be 0 0.0222. So dividing by 10 is the thing that kicks it over one decimal place to give us the right number. Now we can add these numbers together. I have 3 over 5 plus 2 over 90, which is 28 over 45. Let's stop and take a quick look at Desmos so I can show you how 3 over 5 plus 2 over 90 can be added quickly. So in Desmos, I'm just going to put in 3 divided by 5 plus 2 divided by 90. I can see the 0.6222. I can tell that's exactly what we wanted. 
Now if I hit this box over box, it will turn it into a fraction 28 over 45. We had to do the hard part, which was breaking down and getting the fractions. And as most, we could also come in here and put 6 over 10 plus the 2 over 9. Notice that says 0.822, so I have to remember to do times 1 divided by 10 to get the 2 to move over one decimal place and be in the right spot. Here you could also hit the box over box, you'll still see the 28 over 45 that we had originally. Let's try one more like that. Here I have 0.35 with a repeating 7. I'll make that 0.35 plus 0 0.00 with a repeating 7. Notice this time I have two zeros before my repeating number. The 0.35 is just 35 over 100. You can reduce that to 7 over 20. To get the 0 .00 with the repeating 7s, we need to do 1 over 100 to move it over two decimal places, and then 7 over 9 to get the repeating 7. To get 0.35 with a repeating 0, I add 7 over 20 to 7 over 900, which is 161 over 450. Again, let's go back to Desmos to verify that. I have 7 over 20 plus 7 over 900. Again, we could have written this as 35 over 100 plus 7 over 9 times 1 over 100. Clicking on the fraction shows me this is 161 over 450. And I see the same thing in the one before. To finish off the video, I wanted to give you one quick note. There is a problem with writing 0.999 as a repeated decimal as a fraction. Here's the issue. The rule says to write our repeated decimal, we're supposed to take our number and divide by 9. Well, that would mean I have 9 over 9, which is 1. This is the accepted conversion. So don't worry yourself with what do you do if you have a repeated 9, you just round up.